Hi students, this is Satish Kumar. In this video lecture, I'm going to present the inconsistency of Ampere's circuit law as well as its uh, modified form. Okay, first let us try to see the inconsistency. Okay, so inconsistency means the Ampere's has given its uh, expression in point form or differential form but that is valid only for a particular field and it should need to be modified in other fields. Okay, so what is that inconsistency and how that inconsistency can be overcome and uh, we will get the final Maxwell's equation in time varying form. Okay, let us try to see that here. Okay, so first we'll try to see what is Ampere circuit law. Okay, I'm not going to derive it, but uh, I'll be just uh, taking the direct expression we know that we know that the ampere's circuit law circuit law in point form ampere circuit law in point form or differential form is given by is given by let us take that as del cross h is equal to j okay so let us call this is equation number one curl of magnetic field intensity is equal to current density okay so conduction current density their h units are ampere per meter and j units are ampere per meter square right now if we get this particular expression in point form or differential form we need to check this particular equation whether it is a, a valid field equation or not it's a field equation it's very clearly indicating that it's a field equation we should need to check whether this is a valid uh, field expression or not okay to check any field equation we have only two operations either we should apply divergence on both sides or we should apply curl on both sides if the left hand side is equal to right hand side then we can say that particular equation is a valid equation otherwise we need to modify that equation okay we cannot say that particular field equation is true in case if the left hand side is not equal to right hand side okay so but in this case uh, what we have to apply whether it is uh, the divergence that we have to apply or curl that we have to apply it. So you just need to check the equation del cross h equal to j. If you apply divergence on both sides, del dot of del cross h. Yes, we have an expression for that. It is equal to zero because divergence of curl of any vector is equal to zero. And del dot j. Okay, we have an expression for del dot j from continuity equation. It is minus dou rho v by dou t. But if you if you take curl on both sides, del cross del cross h. Of course, that is also we can able to get it from a cross of b cross c expression but curl of h if you take on the other side curl of h we don't have an expression that's the reason we cannot apply curl on both sides okay if you want you can write that also but in the derivation generally what we do is taking divergence on both sides taking divergence on both sides yes what we can now do is let us take del dot which is on the left hand side that is a del cross of h is equal to del dot j okay this is how we can say we have applied divergence on both sides but on the left hand side we have divergence of curl of a vector okay you can write here since divergence since divergence of curl of any vector okay this can be a b c h e anything but it is absolutely equal to zero this this is one of the most important uh, uh, property of del okay that's the reason we are using it here so it is equal to zero and del dot j from continuity equation it is minus 
do rho v by do t okay so since divergence of j is equal to minus do rho v by do t okay so you should write this this is continuity equation for current but it is very clear that this is our left hand side and this is our right hand side so left hand side is not equal to right hand side you can say like this that means the given expression the given expression del cross h is equal to j is not a valid field equation is not a valid field equation that means we should check whether this particular expression can be valid at any particular uh, place or particular time let us check this right hand side you cannot make this 0 to minus do rho v by do t you can only make this uh, minus do rho v by do t to 0 it's very clearly indicating that this rho v here is a function of time function of time if it is a function of time rho v is in terms of function of time then you cannot say this do by do t of rho v is equal to 0 because rho v is expressed in terms of time once you differentiate that with respective time it will never be zero but if you want to make this expression is equal to zero you can take this rho v is independent of time suppose if rho v i am writing here if rho v is independent of time rho v is independent of time then we can say do rho v by do t as rho v is independent of time then it will be absolutely equal to zero then what we'll be getting is zero is equal to zero or else we can say lhs is equal to rhs left hand side is equal to right hand side okay so it means this particular condition left hand side is equal to right hand side or zero equal to zero will be happening for rho v which is independent of time rho v which is independent of time actually means that field is a static field in static fields only the parameters will be independent of time there is a difference between static fields and time varying fields okay so that means static fields are nothing but time independent fields okay static fields are nothing but time independent fields okay that based on that this particular expression which is given that is del cross h is equal to j will be valid only for static fields that is time independent fields okay so of course it is a valid but it is having that inconsistency that inconsistency is that particular expression del cross h equal to j uh, del cross h equal to j is valid only for time independent fields or static fields if you want to make that particular expression valid for time varying fields then you need to modify that expression which should we should be suitable for time varying fields okay that's what we have to write here and you have to say that is the inconsistency of ampere circuit law okay so write that here the given expression the given expression del cross h is equal to j is valid is valid or you can say applicable is applicable only for static or we can say time independent fields static or time independent fields okay so this is what is uh, the basic uh, derivation for the first part that is the inconsistency okay so now you can say this is the this is the inconsistency of amperes circuit law okay so this is what you should write here but to make that expression del cross h equal to j which is suitable or valid for the time varying fields or time dependent fields we should need to modify that expression that also will try to write 
if we want to make the expression del cross h is equal to j valid for time varying fields for time varying fields we need to modify that we need to modify that modify that expression right but what is that modification that means there is something which is missing in that if that missing term is added then that particular expression field equation sh should be suitably valid for the time varying fields also okay so that itself is called as modified form of ampere's circuit law okay so let us write that as modified form of ampere's circuit law modified form of ampere's circuit law right okay so this is what we are going to do now okay let us take that expression again the basic expression that we know is is del cross h is equal to j now you should add some vector because both are vectors left hand side is a vector del cross h is a vector and j is a vector we should add one more vector on either sides okay you may get a feeling that sir we should add only one side see because we are adding a particular vector and we are trying to finding out whether you should add that on the left hand side or right hand side is immaterial if you add it on the right hand side what you get is a positive term if you add it on the left hand side you will get a negative term and if you bring it to the right hand side it will again become the same that means either of the sides you can add that particular vector let's say that vector is g okay so adding there is no particular reason for calling it as g okay just we are taking it as some vector okay you can take also x vector p vector like that okay it's not compulsory that it should be g adding g vector on any side so i am clearly mentioning you can add it on any side okay still you will be getting the same answer okay so let us add that on the right hand side del cross h is equal to j vector plus g vector so when you are adding it on the j side the units of j are ampere per meter square absolutely the units of g must also we have to get it as ampere per meter square only okay because what we are adding is g and the units of del cross h is also ampere per meter square so you have to get the units of g also should be ampere per meter square after getting you will come to know uh, whether it is true or not right so to get the value of g because our intention is to find out g here to get the g there is no other option again we have to go for taking divergence on both sides okay so we have to take divergence divergence on both sides divergence on both sides right so when we take divergence on both sides let us take like this del dot of del cross h is equal to del dot of j plus g vector as we know already that divergence of curl of any vector is zero on the left hand side we get zero and uh, divergence is distributive okay you can split this as del dot j plus del dot g del dot g right so now we know the value of del dot j but we don't know the value of del dot g okay that you have to again substitute zero equal to this is minus do rho v by do t that is from continuity equation plus del dot g del dot g right so now send this 
minus dou rho v by dou t on the other side on the other side therefore del dot g i'll be writing this side is equal to minus that minus will become plus here do rho v by do t but on the left hand side you have divergence right hand side should also be converted in the form of divergence but do by do t you cannot make it any divergent form but rho v as we know del dot d vector is equal to rho v this is our maxwell equation from gauss law then what we get is del dot g is equal to do by do t of put a bracket that rho v can be written as del dot d okay del dot d okay this do by do t which is a time varying form you can attach it to any one of it okay even if you attach it for del it doesn't make any difference you can attach it to d vector okay then this will become divergence of do d by do t right now it is exactly in the form of divergence on both sides if you observe if g is equal to do d by do t if you take divergence on both sides you will be getting exactly the same that means here it is looking like we have taken divergence on both sides now to remove that because we don't want divergence of g we want only g so removing divergence on both sides removing divergence on both sides removing divergence on both sides so and we will be getting that as g equal to do d by do t this do d by do t we call it as displacement current density okay we have already defined this current which is one of the types of the currents and current densities we have three types of currents conduction current displacement current and convection current okay so there are three types of currents which we have already discussed and this do d by do t is an expression for displacement current and d units are uh, coulomb per meter square and do by do t is per second and if you ultimately simplify that you will be absolutely getting it as ampere per meter square because current ampere is charge per unit time the charge per unit time is ampere coulomb per meter square that is ampere per meter square okay so you will be absolutely having the unit of do d by do t do d by do t which is d unit is coulomb per meter square into per second but this coulomb per second we will be calling it as ampere that is ampere per meter square so this is how the unit of jd we will be getting it as ampere per meter square therefore we can say g is equal to do d by do t or jd we can write that in the expression that we have taken here so in place of this this g we will be writing now will be writing now the expression therefore del cross h is equal to j plus do d by do t and this is called as modified form of ampere's circuit law modified form of ampere's circuit law okay so this is how we have to prove the inconsistency of ampere circuit law as well as how it can be modified okay so that's it uh, the inconsistency we actually uh, do it in uh, static fields because that particular expression we will be uh, it will be valid only for the static fields but those static equations of maxwells are of no use we need to convert them into time varying form okay this is a time varying form of uh, the ampere circuit law that is maxwell equation which is obtained from ampere's circuit law right thank you if you like these videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you